Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. So in this session we shall discuss about the first topic of biology that is introduction to biology. Moving on to introduction to biology. So what do you mean by biology? So actually the word bio means life, right? So the word biology is derived from two Greek words. The first is bios. Bios means life and logia means study. So that means biology is nothing but it is a study of life and the living organisms it may be plants or it may be animals okay so it is a natural science that involves the study of life and living organisms including their physical structure chemical composition function development and evolution of any living organism it may be plant or it may be animal so study of life that is of living organisms is nothing but a biology so who is considered as father of biology it is aristotle okay so he has lived from 384 to 322 bc approximately so he is considered as the father of biology because he has made his foremost contribution to biology okay we shall see that later in our coming chapters what he has contributed moving on to main branches of biology okay these are some of the important questions which are repeating in examination so i have listed some of the branches of biology which will be helpful for us first is aerobiology as the name says aero means is a study of airborne organic particles airborne organic particles is a study of aerobiology next is anatomy generally we hear in news or in our general study subjects so it is a study of organism structure structure of an organism is nothing but anatomy it has a sub topic called histology study of cells and tissues is nothing but histology cell is a very basic unit of any living organism okay like we have an atom for an element cell is also the very basic unit of any living organisms okay so histology is a study of cells and tissues next is astrobiology astro means related to space it is also called as exobiology exopaleontology or bioastronomy okay the study of evolution distribution and future of life in the universe is nothing but astrobiology so how space is related to living organisms so that we shall deal in astrobiology next biochemistry so bio means life so how living organisms are related to chemistry how chemical reactions take place in the living organisms is nothing but biochemistry next is bioengineering so the study of biology through the means of engineering with an emphasis on the applied knowledge and especially related to biotechnology okay next bio geography which we have seen also in geography topic so how geography is related to living organisms so the study of distribution of species different types of species we have in the world so how they are distributed in this world or in the universe is about the study related to bio geography next is bioinformatics as the name says information so the use of information technology for the study of collection study collection and storage of genomic and other biological data is nothing but bioinformatics next is biolinguistics as the name says language the study of the biology and evolution of the language so the language of biology is nothing but biolinguistics and biomechanics mechanics means it is related to movement right so how the living beings move both plants just generally plants doesn't move but how they communicate each other how they reproduce okay how the living organisms behave next biomedical research the study of health and disease is nothing but biomedical research next coming to pharmacology so it is a study and practical application of preparation use and effects of drugs and synthetic medicines next is biomusicology the study of music from the biological point of view okay how music is related from the living organisms point of view next is biophysics a study of biological process up by applying theories and methods used in the physical sciences how it is related next is biotechnology generally we have seen now uh, bt cotton gm mustard these are the genetically modified crops okay why we are genetically modifying because to we need higher production we control the pests okay so that's why we are using the biotechnology nowadays biotechnology has advanced a lot 
So the study of the manipulation of living matter including genetic modification and synthetic biology is nothing but biotechnology. Next is synthetic biology. Synthetic means artificial or man-made. Okay, it is a research integrating biology and engineering. So if I combine both biology and engineering, so then it is a synthetic biology. It is a construction of biological functions which are not found in nature. Next is botany. Botany is a study of plants. Then what is zoology? Zoology is a study of animals. We know it. Next, phycology. Very repeated question in many general studies examinations. It is a study of algae. Okay, which we see in our the ponds, the green color layer which is coated on the water. That is algae. It is, it is an autotroph mechanism. It can prepare its own food. Okay, next is plant physiology. How the plants uh, like physiology, it is, the movement takes place within the plants. How does respiration takes place? How does transportation takes place within the plants is nothing but plant physiology. Next is cell biology. I have already told you cell is a basic unit of an living organisms. So cells will form tissues and tissues will form organs. Okay, so cell biology is nothing but how the cells will perform. Next, cryobiology. As the name says, cryo means lower temperatures. So the study of effects of lower than normally preferred temperatures on living beings. How living beings will be affected because of the lower temperatures. Next is embryology, the study of the development of embryo. Okay, how the male gametes and female gametes fuse to form an embryo. Next, gerontology. Very repeated question. It is a study of aging processes. How aging will take place in living organisms. Next, ecology. How the biotic and abiotic factors of life will interact each other is nothing but ecology. What is biotic? Biotic means living. Abiotic means it is non-living. So generally we have living means plants, animals, all this temperature rainfall all these are non-living things so how these two react to each other that is called ecology or environment how living organisms will interact with the environment is nothing but the ecosystem okay genetics it is a study of genes and heredity how we interact we treat our characteristics from our parents or ancestors is nothing but the genetics Next, hematology. Hematology is related to blood. Okay, it's a study of blood and blood forming organisms. Next, microbiology is the study of microscopic organisms like algae, fungi, bacteria, protozoa. All these are microscopic organisms and how they interact with the nature. Next, bacteriology is the study of bacteria. Mycology, very repeated question. This is study of fungi. Okay. The study of fungi, we have seen phytology, that is study of algae, mycology is the study of fungi. Next, parasitology, the study of parasites. Parasites are those which invade other plants or animals for food purposes, okay. Next is virology, as the name says, the study of viruses and virus like agents, neuroscience, the study of nervous system. Okay, next paleontology, very repeated question, the study of fossils, okay, whenever plants and animals die, after some years they become a fossil, right, after uh, plants die, plants and animals die, they become coal, crude oil, right, how we get coal, because of the uh, high temperatures and pressure, they will be converted into coal, or crude oil or petrol or diesel right next pathobiology generally is related to the study of the diseases whenever we go to a diagnostic center he is called as pathologist right so he may diagnose which type of disease a person may have okay moving on to physiology the study of functioning of living organisms and the organs and parts of the living organisms is nothing but physiology next phytopathology generally phyto means plants remember phyto means plants the study of plant diseases is nothing but phytopathology it is also called as plant pathology next structural biology so when i integrate biology biochemistry biophysics then it is called as structural biology next moving on to zoology zoology means i have already told you the study of animals botany is the study of plants zoology is the study of animals that is fauna 
plants are called flora and animals are called fauna how they behave all this is studied by zoology so there are subtopics in zoology we shall see them these are very important for our examinations the first is ethology the study of animal behavior next is entomology the study of insects the very repeated question the study of insects is nothing but entomology herpetology is the study of reptiles and amphibians amphibians are those which live on both land and water next is ichthyology the study of fish this is also very important mammalogy study of mammals ornithology the study of birds okay the these are the some of the branches of zoology and uh, we have seen the main branches of zoology also hope you have learnt enough things in this topic called introduction to biology we shall meet in the next sessions thank you so much